Hi, my name is Alyssa Chinesky, and I'm a senior nutrition educator with the Community Food Bank of New Jersey. I'm here today to show you how to make some delicious butternut squash brownies. Feel free to pause or rewind this video as needed if you are baking along with me at home. Butternut squash is a winter squash that is slightly sweet and has a slightly nutty flavor. One cup of butternut squash can give you about three grams of fiber and all of the vitamin A that you'll need in a day. It's also great for hydration because it has a high water content and it's great for your immune system and eye health. Adding butternut squash to your dessert recipes can make your sweet treats even sweeter due to their health benefits. To get started, we need our ingredients. The ingredients for this recipe are a half a cup of butternut squash puree, two eggs, one teaspoon vanilla extract, one cup of granulated sugar, two thirds cup unbleached all purpose flour, half a cup of unsweetened cacao powder, half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and one cup of chocolate chips. If you want to make this recipe dairy-free, you can use dairy-free chocolate chips. But first, you'll need to puree your butternut squash if it's not already prepared. It's very simple. First, preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Next, line a rimmed baking sheet with aluminum foil or parchment paper and set aside. Then poke holes in the squash shell and microwave for four minutes to make it easier to cut. Slice the squash in half long ways through the stem and scoop out the seeds and strings. Place the halves cut side down onto the baking sheet and roast uncovered for 45 to 65 minutes or until the squash is tender. When the squash is ready, remove it from the oven and allow it to cool enough to handle. When it's cooled, begin to carefully scrape the inside of the squash from the skin. You won't need the skin for this recipe, but you might want to use it for some homemade baked veggie chips or a soup recipe. Now puree the squash until smooth in a food processor or blender. If you don't have these kitchen items handy, you might use a fork or a potato masher instead. One two pound squash will produce a little over two cups of puree. If you have extra, you can store it in the fridge in an airtight container for up to a week. Once your puree is ready, it's time to get baking. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees and grease an 8x8 or 7x11 inch baking pan with non-stick cooking spray or line it with parchment paper. In a large mixing bowl, combine the squash puree, eggs, and vanilla. In a second bowl, whisk together the sugar, flour, cacao powder, baking powder, salt, cinnamon, and chocolate chips. Combine the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients and fold gently until it just combines, making sure not to overmix. Spoon the batter into your prepared pan and bake for 20 to 25 minutes or until it's baked through. You can also use a toothpick, insert it in the middle of the dish, and if it comes out clean, that means that the inside is cooked evenly. 